B.B. King was an incredible blues composer and guitarist. I just saw that his guitar, Lucille, sold for over $100,000 at auction. The guitar's name was Lucille, and it has a very interesting story of how it got its name. Early in his career, he was playing at a club in Arkansas, a very small place, and two men got into a fight over a woman and knocked into a kerosene heater, and a terrible fire broke out. B.B. King was able to run out of the building in time, but then he realized he left his guitar inside. It was only a $15 guitar, but it was all he had. He ran back in the building, grabbed his guitar, and got out. But the fire was terrible, and two people died. Later, he found out that the two men were fighting over a woman named Lucille. He decided to name his guitar Lucille. In his words, to remind himself to never fight over a woman or to run into a burning building. What he was doing was creating a memento for himself, a memento of how to behave and think. The word memento comes from the Latin verb meaning to remember. It also is remember how we should behave or how we should think. At IBM, I used to have an office with a desk and a conference table. Above the desk, I had written a note to myself, grace under pressure, to remind me to show grace. At the other end of the room around the conference table, above people's heads, I had ask good questions, to remind me to ask good questions before I make decisions. In my office here, it looks crowded, but I used to have a lot more stuff. And I cleaned out things except for those that remind me how to behave or things I should do. This is an example right here. This was given to me by a colleague. It's a bobblehead of Dick Richardson. And it reminds me not to take myself too seriously. This is the hat that was given to me by Blue Origin and to remind me of how valuable good partnerships are. And probably most importantly, this is a diploma for Bachelor of Fatherhood Excellence that my son gave me for the support I gave him over his life. So what are the mementos that you have around you in your home and in your office to remind you of how to think and how to behave? They can be a great cueing device to keep us on the right track.